<laughs> what up, Scorps? It's February 6th, week 20. And you're watching Cam My Connect. Hey Scorps, Ventura College is hosting an application workshop during 3rd and 4th today if you're interested. Now passing it off to Brant and Nick for a special edition of S Scorp Center. Nine wrestlers qualified for individual CIF championships this Friday and Saturday at Citrus High School. Girls soccer travels on Wednesday to Claremont for the first round of Division II playoffs at 5. And boys soccer travels to Channel Islands for the first round of Division II playoffs also at 5. Girls basketball plays Foothill of Santa Ana for the first round of Division I playoffs, and they're at home at 7 o'clock. Boys basketball gets a bye in the first round of Division II AA, and they play the winner of Cathedral or Benita at home February 12th at 7. Congratulations, guys. Go get them. Seniors, please turn in your senior contract if you have not already done so. You will not be allowed to buy tickets for prom, grad night, or participate in any senior activities until your form is completely turned in. They can be turned in behind the office at the student window. Thank you. What's up, guys? This week in the quad during lunch, the Gay Straight Alliance is having their pre-order sales for their bear bouquet. This bouquet includes a small stuffed bear, lollipops, and a flower, all for only $5. Get these Valentine's gifts for your friends, teachers, significant others. <laughs> Deliveries will take place on Valentine's Day during homeroom. Look at the camera! <laughs> Welcome back to work. The Community Law Enforcement Academy applications are due. Tuesday, 2-12, February 12th. February 12th on Tuesday. This will give you the opportunity to learn about things and criminal justice, um, other things such as policing, I believe, and... Um, domestic violence, domestic you know? Domestic violence. Um, if Crime scene investigations? Dude, come on. Dude, I mean, obviously we don't know a lot. So if you have more information, you can go to see Miss Studeville. Miss Studeville, welcome. Hi, Scorps. Miss Resnick, your teacher librarian here, to talk to you about uh, the American Heart Month. And we have a display here to um, encourage you guys to get heart healthy. And this message is for staff and students. And did you guys know that by simply eating whole foods and getting good exercise that you can prevent heart disease. I didn't know this, but I just looked up some statistics on the CDC, and I read here that heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States of America. Over 600,000 Americans die each year from heart disease, and for the most part, it is preventable. So, you might think, oh, I'm young, I can eat whatever I want, not exercise, but what I want to encourage you to look at is the long game here, right? What we do now will have impact on our health in the future. So these are some simple steps you can take to have good heart health. Number one, this is going to be an insight, don't smoke. And that includes vaping. Don't smoke anything of any kind. All right. Next, maintain a healthy weight. All right, being overweight leads to diabetes, obesity, all kinds of um, diseases, and that then leads to heart failure, heart disease. Eat a healthy diet. A healthy diet consists of whole foods. All right, we have some cookbooks here and some ideas for you. Drink lots of water. And students, I just want you to know that hot Cheetos does not constitute food. All right, next, exercise regularly. Just even a good brisk walk, take your dog for a walk, walk with a friend and chat, get off that phone for a while, or run, go to the gym, take a hike, and we have all kinds of ideas featured here on our Heart Healthy display. And then finally, if you do have a condition, make sure you take good care of yourself. Take your proper pills and medications and um, see what you can do to heal yourself through um, lots of good whole foods. And sleep, sleep, sleep. If you have any questions, come in and see me and I look forward to um, sharing this information with you. Bye, Scorps. It's your boy Evan. It's your boy Izzy. And tune in for a stormy and windy Scorps Center. Boys water polo lost 15 to five against Moore Park. Took fourth in league. Fourth Girls water polo versus Moore Park. Freshman and JV came out with the W. 
Varsity unfortunately lost 8-4 and ended up finishing third in league. Boys soccer against Moor Park. Freshman lost, JV lost, and Varsity got the dub 2 out. The boys soccer also finished third in league. Good job, boys. Girls soccer versus Moor Park. Freshman tied, JV lost, and Varsity unfortunately lost 1-0. Finishing third in league. Good job, girls. Boys basketball against Moore Park. Smacked on them. 95 to 52. Let's go. Girls basketball. Smacked on them too. 65 to 25. Yo, yo. What's up? What's up with our girls and boys basketball teams in league this year? Dude, they're both 10 and 0 in the Coastal Canyon League. Does that mean for the first time in school history we have undefeated league champions? I think so. Congrats. 10 and Hey, Scorps. Winter sports just had their senior nights. Here are some pictures. We're at Camarillo's Unified Athletic Team. We're selling these Respect to R Word shirts. The first 50 people, $3. The rest are $5. Wear them Wednesday, February 13th at our first basketball game during third period at 10-15 against Simi Valley. Attention juniors and seniors interested in computer science, electrical, or mechanical engineering. If so, apply for the Pre-Engineering Academy with NAFSI today. This is a great hands-on experience and looks great on college applications. Applications are available with your counselor and are due Thursday, February 7th. See Ms. Sudeville for details. 11th and 12th graders, do you have an interest in global trade and logistics? If so, there's a great opportunity for an after-school program through the Port of Wainimi. Students will gain hands-on learning experience to the opportunities and operations at the port. Topics include Port Wainimi's role and economic contribution to global trade and logistics and financing and accounting and more. See Ms. Sudeville in the office if you have any questions.